I'm here at Mills today in Leamington Spa. I'm here with the MD of Proactive Technical Solutions, Nigel Moody. Nigel's going to talk to us about the LTOL type spot. Tell us a little bit more about PTS and also LTOL type spot. Okay, well, uh, Proactive Technical Solutions uh, started in 2004, uh, primarily as a cutting tool distributor. Uh, over the years, what we've always looked to do is bring unique, different products that really make a, a, a difference to, to our customers. Um, one of those applications that we were given to by a customer led to obviously us now being the sole distributor for the Eltel Tight Spot product. Is that for the whole of the UK and Ireland? Whole of the, yeah, whole of the UK and Ireland as well, yeah. And look, looking at the products, could you tell us uh, what they actually do? Okay, it's primarily the product that we're focused on is their right angle head system. Uh, it's very, very different to traditional type right angle heads uh, in as much as it uh, runs on high pressure coolant. Um, and ultimately offers our customers and future prospects some real differences. Most people would consider right angle head as a bit of a necessary evil. Um, however, uh, this particular product uh, with multi-positional uh, machining capability, uh, it offers up uh, a far, far greater potential for, for that type of tool. So Nigel, from an engineer's point of view, what are the real main advantages and benefits with L tool type spot? Uh, the biggest advantage we have is that we have full 360 degree uh, orientation of the spindle. Um, in, in, in many respects, it, it offers a, a completely new axis uh, of, of machining to, to, to people's machine tools. And obviously, a lot of different machines out there, can it really fit on any machine in the market? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we, from a, a shank point of view, we offer all of the standard uh, uh, interfaces, HSK, BT, DIN, CAPTO, um, and even if you haven't got full spindle or orientation programming with your machine, uh, if you've got uh, rigid tapping, uh, you'll have an encoder. That means that with a very easy modification to a program, still orientate our uh, tight spot tool uh, without uh, you know, having full spindle orientation facility. Because a lot of companies will and engineers will be using all those changes as well, so, so there's no problem there? Absolutely not, no. The tool is, uh, is loaded via the auto tool changer. Um, that means it's brought back to exactly the same position every time the tool is, is in use. Um, so auto tool changing, absolutely no problems at all. Um, and then, yeah, ultimately 360 degree rotation with the tool, no, no stop blocks. What would my machine tool need to make this tool a success, Nigel? There are three key things really for the success of this tool. Number one is coolant pressure. Uh, 15 bar we would class as being uh, entry level high pressure. So high pressure coolant, that basically gives us torque. Uh, flow rate, coolant flow rate, flow rate controls the RPM of the tool, uh, and good filtration. They're the three key things to make this tool a success. If coolant pressure is an issue, what we can do to overcome that problem is incorporate different gearboxes and different motors also into the unit so we can get the, the, the best torque out of the uh, coolant pressure that, that, that is available. But yeah, 15 bar is, is, is really is what we would class as minimum requirement. So it's very much dependent on the uh, application whether it's a milling application, whether it's a drilling application, but yeah, for sure, we're down as low as 15 bar. So Nigel, what range of applications does L Tool Type Spot offer? Okay, um, largely milling and drilling. Uh, we've been very successful within the aerospace industry, uh, Formula One, oil and gas. Um, the name Tight Spot suggests that we are looking at getting into the smaller areas. Um, drilling rib sections, for instance, in aerospace uh, components has been very popular. Um, but yeah, milling, drilling, and we can also thread mill. And is it quite a modular product? So if I'm working on a lathe, could it be used on a lathe? Okay, um, interchangeable is probably a, be a, a better word. Uh, the, the, the system does offer quite a degree of flexibility. So uh, if, if, if you're instance, if you had an HSK shank, we had a, a size one head which suited a particular job. What we can do is we can drop the head off. We can put a different size head on. So one shank fits multiple head sizes. We can also take the head off a standard shank which you'd traditionally use in a milling machine. We can also drop that onto a, let's say a VDI back end. So we could also use that for internal machining on a lathe. Um, if you've got high pressure coolant on a lathe, we can use a standard uh, cylindrical shank, use the high pressure. Or if you've got standard uh, driven tool drive on, on, on the turret, we can accommodate that as well. So yes, ultimately, we can swap between milling and turning. 
And, and finally, for those engineers that are machining complex components, what are the real benefits of what you want to tell them today? How should they see this product? Okay. It's the multi-positional machining, that, that's, that's key. Um, where people have many different operations, um, or that, that they may be drilling several same size holes throughout uh, different parts of a component, we can index this tool so we can get to all of those holes. So again, with traditional mechanical heads, because they're set in one position, you need a lot of heads to cover all of the holes ultimately that you want to drill. You haven't got that with this. So um, obviously there's a, a huge reduction in, in tooling costs. We're talking about one head here. Um, or it could be um, multi-setup. Uh, a lot of our customers in the past have had to uh, use a traditional mechanical driven head. They drill a hole, they have to break the component down. It has to be completely reset, um, re re reprogrammed, and then back up again for, for drilling different holes. This you don't have to do that. Well, engineers love saving money. Thanks very much, Nigel. Pleasure, Mark.